Does planning a virtual event intimidate you or don't know where to start? Let this video be your first crash course into how to host a virtual event. Let me tell you why a virtual event has the potential to be the next biggest moneymaker in your business. Planning a virtual event doesn't have to feel like rocket science either. Let's break it down in today's video. Then I'm also gonna share with you how I got one of the world's most renowned speakers in the entire world, someone that actually normally charges like a million dollars per speaking engagement. I got him to say yes and speak at my very first virtual event. Might get you some ideas for how to get big speakers at your event, so keep watching. Why do a virtual event? Here's the unique thing about virtual events, especially with how the world changed in 2020, everyone had to adapt. A lot of people have moved online. The great thing about that is that we can be able to communicate with people all over the world any time of day from the comfort of our own homes. So people that are attending your event can be in their pajamas. They can be on the other side of the world. They can be any time of day or night. And when the event is virtual, they can grab their tickets without having to worry about plane fare, hotels, babysitters. And while the event is going on, they can be tuning in from anywhere in the world. This means that your reach is so much wider than however many people that you might be able to fit into a, a conference room. So the sky's the limit with virtual events. With a virtual event, sure, you should still have a marketing budget, but your fees might be a lot less because you don't have to rent a hotel conference room. You don't have to worry about hotels or airfare or catering. This allows you to be able to spend more money on the marketing to reach more people, which should result in a bigger ROI for you because at your event, you should be selling something that can then bring people into the next level of transformation and service that you can provide them. So with that said, let's talk about how to plan your virtual event. So first of all, you wanna decide on the format. Now some people are doing a hybrid, knowing that we can still serve people virtually, but have people in person. You wanna decide your dates, your times, and what tech you'll need to support it. A lot of people will do virtual events through Zoom or through other platforms where people can still be commenting and engaging even from the comfort of their own home. Next, you'll wanna plan the event content. So how how many sessions are you gonna be speaking on? What are the session topics, the scripts, and the pitch? Ideally, your event should be leading into something, whether that's another event or whether it's a program or a service or something else that your audience can get more transformation by attending or participating in after the event is over. Once we've planned the content of the event, let's talk about the format of each session. Typically, you might wanna have you know, yourself on stage presenting, but maybe you also wanna have multiple different speakers, some guest speakers that can also provide a ton of value for your audience and create great insights for your audience on their topic of expertise. At my recent event, Content Machine Live, I had Russell Brunson, Alex Sharfin, Steven Larson, and Christy Codred, and they all came in and spoke to how they create content to generate six, seven, eight figure businesses. So that was really exciting for my audience to be able to learn my strategies and my frameworks to teach people how to grow their businesses online using content. But then they also got a variety of other speakers to share some of their strategies. This helps to break up the schedule of the day and creates a lot of excitement because a lot of these speakers might be people they're really looking forward to seeing and can be a really great incentive for those ticket sales. Another format you might want to utilize is Q&A sessions. I love being able to just go up on stage, kind of have some, some blank space time where I can just answer questions, have anyone come up to the mic or if it's virtual to the keyboard and ask their questions and I can answer them, especially that throughout an event, you are giving them so much information. They're certainly going to have some questions left over. Now, the next thing you need to know in all of your sessions is that you need to be able to break objections for your audience. Think about what you're gonna be pitching at the end of your event. Now, before you even go through that pitch, your content should be helping to encourage and overcome any objections that the audience might have to buying that thing before you even pitch it. Now, your audience is typically gonna have a vehicle, internal and external false belief objection about the thing. So the vehicle objection is about, well, I might not need this because this isn't meant for me. So for example, my audience, if I'm teaching them something Thing about video marketing or about YouTube. Their vehicle objection could be, YouTube won't work for me. Video marketing won't work for me. And then in my content, I would share some social proof or stories about how video marketing works for any business and is incredible for generating six, seven, and eight figure businesses. An internal objection is about themselves. It's typically like an insecurity. So in this case, they might say something like, well, I'm not good on video. I'm not sure what to say. I don't have the right message yet. 
And there I would again create more stories and content around how to become confident, how to know exactly what to share on camera and in your messaging. An external objection is about something typically outside of themselves. This can be a uh, support around them, their family or a money objection. And in that we would create content around the kind of support that we provide as part of our programs. We can also create content around the money objection to show here's the ROI that people are getting. Here's how much money people are making when they implement these strategies. So it also creates that future pace, that vision of what their life could look like if they take the leap and implement what they're learning at your event. And this is my favorite part to plan is the audience engagement plan. So even if it's virtual, now I don't want you to think of this as like you home alone in front of your computer or your camera and you just talking to some inanimate object, you are communicating with real people and you want that communication to be both ways. So one of the things that we did was at our virtual event, I was up on a stage and I was you know, talking to them through the Zoom. But before the event, I sent them these emoji paddles. It was like a cardboard emoji attached to a popsicle stick where when they were getting a big takeaway or an epiphany or loving something that they were hearing or seeing, they could hold up their paddles and show that on screen through the Zoom. So even though I couldn't see them or hear them as if there was an, a live audience in front of me, sure, they could type in the chat, but another quick thing they could do is they could grab their emoji paddles. One of ours was the hands up emoji that they could be shining that in their Zoom window to as if it was like a, a virtual applause. So that's a really cool way that you can get some engagement. You also want to think about maybe some breakout sessions or Q and a, or ways that people can be asking questions, communicating and networking within the rest of the participants throughout your event. Now I want to hear from you. What is your event all about? This would be a great place for us to even share some ideas or feel free to promote what your event is about. Or if you're just thinking about hosting an event, share with us your ideas. Let us know in the comments below. The next thing you're going to need in planning your virtual event is a marketing calendar. Now, what we do is we start from the event date and reverse engineer. We work backwards to today. And what we do in that is we want to make sure that we have a whole marketing calendar that's going to create bonuses and urgency and scarcity and reasons for people to purchase tickets all the way throughout this open cart period. We don't want to just announce that this event is happening and hope that people buy. We need a marketing campaign calendar. So I'm going to share with you some of the best things that we did that created this huge influx of ticket sales, not just on day one and not just on the day of, we got ticket sales all throughout our open cart period. The biggest thing that's going to help your ticket sales is to always create urgency and scarcity. You want to give your audience a reason to act. If you're just like, Hey, here's these tickets. And the event is like a month or two away. Most people wait until last minute to buy. And even then they can get distracted, forget about it, find something else to do, go on vacation or just not buy the tickets. So you want to make sure that you always have lots of content that's continuing to hype up your event and give people a reason to act now. The first thing that we did when we announced our event, we actually created a bunch of hype before we announced it. So we were like, Hey, this big thing is going to be announced on this date. Stay tuned. And it got people really excited about what's this announcement? What's happening? Well, finally, when we announced content machine live was happening, we gave people the opportunity to get a 48 hour early bird pricing. So that gave us a huge influx of ticket sales. A lot of people purchased their tickets in that first 48 hours to give them the ticket savings. Now we still had about a month before the event. So I wasn't just going to like sit back and hope that people would then buy. The next thing that I did is I started to announce the speakers that would be speaking at this event. At first it was a big secret and something that people were really excited to find out who are these surprise speakers. So something that I did was every day for about a week, I would announce the speakers. And what I would do is I would give incentives to buy if you get tickets on that day. So for example, one of the first speakers that I announced was Christy Code Red. So we went live on Facebook. We had this big reveal. We said Christy Code Red is going to be speaking at Content Machine Live. And if you get your ticket today, you'll also get this bonus from Christy Code Red. Well, that was so cool because everyone that signed up that day wanted that bonus. Now here's the thing. Here's a disclaimer. Everyone who signed up before that date also got the bonus, but if they waited, they wouldn't get any of the bonuses. So every day that I announced more speakers, then I announced Alex Sharfin speaking and saying, Hey, if you purchase on this day, you'll also get this bonus from Alex Sharfin. And then the next day I announced Steven Larson as a guest. And if you buy your ticket today, you'll get this bonus. So the longer that people waited, they would miss out on bonuses. So that was a really great way to get more ticket sales throughout that week. The next thing I did is I did what we call a seven day live launch. So this was a really great thing for me and for the audience because I got to test my content. I got a ton more ticket sales and people got a sneak peek at what was going to be happening at content machine live. 
So I said to my audience, I'm gonna be recording some of my content for my high ticket course. This is gonna be a course that I'm gonna be selling for $9.97 in the future, but I'm gonna go live on Facebook and let you watch me film it for these seven days only. And so for seven days, I went live blowing their minds with tons of incredible content. Now here's what was the cool thing that I did, is on day three, I started to say, hey, you know what? I'm normally gonna sell this for $9.97, but if you go get a ticket to Content Machine Live, and anyone else who already has this, if you go get a ticket to Content Machine Live, I'm gonna give you this entire course for free. It's normally gonna be $9.97, but you can get this for free when you get a ticket to Content Machine Live. That gave us another huge influx of ticket sales. So every day of that live launch from day three to seven, I was getting way more ticket sales because people wanted to get more access to this content. Now, most of the time people wait until the last minute to buy something. And that countdown timer was ticking. We had a big countdown. We were like five days left, four days left, three days left, two days left. And we got a ton of ticket sales in the last two days, even on the day of. That's the great thing about virtual events is people could purchase a ticket on the day of and get access immediately. Didn't have to worry about travel or babysitter or anything. So make sure that that countdown timer for you is loud and proud and still directing people to purchase tickets. Some other things that you can do in your promotion is show behind the scenes of creating the events. I did a lot of Instagram stories of the venue, sneak peeks of the content, sneak peek of what was in the swag boxes that we were sending out to uh, people that purchased tickets and anywhere that you can create FOMO, like the kind of content that they're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss out if I don't get tickets to this thing. Make sure that you are painting that picture for your audience and showing them, hey, Get your tickets for this event or else you're gonna miss out. Now, before I get into the story of how I got one of the most world-renowned speakers to speak at my very first event, have you subscribed to this channel yet? Hit that big red button below to get brand new content marketing strategies and business acceleration tips straight to your YouTube feed every week. When you're creating your speaker lineup for your event, you first wanna be thinking about, of course, who would be a dream to have on that lineup, on your stage? Who would your audience love to hear from? And also who would really contribute to great stories and great content that will help with the thing that you're pitching at your event? I knew that my audience and I am a huge fan of Russell Brunson. He is a mentor of mine. I've been in Russell Brunson's inner circle and it would just be a dream if he would speak at my event. But I knew that Russell Brunson is not the kind of guy who I can just call up and say, hey, you wanna speak at my event? The man is running a billion dollar software company among many other things in his life that I, ha I knew that if I was gonna ask him, I had to do something that would impress him. Knowing that Russell loves good marketing strategies, what I did was I marketed to him and to my audience asking him to speak at my event. What I did is I created a video. It was actually a song. I had Steve Larson and Christy Code Red and Alex Sharp and the other speakers at Content Machine Live come together and we filmed a music video. And I'm actually gonna link it in the comments below so you can go check it out. But it was a song of me asking him to speak at the event. And what I did is I just posted on social media and said, hey Russell, I have a question for you. And this video went mini viral and had tons of people in the comments also tagging Russell saying, Russell, will you speak at the event? Russell, this is amazing, you have to say yes. And of course, by posting it online and maybe backing him into a corner a little bit, but mostly impressing him with the marketing and the song, he said yes. I'll link that below so you can go check out the exact song. Warning, it will get stuck in your head. If you're looking for more strategies to explode your monthly revenue and effortlessly ascend even brand new audience members to your high ticket offers, including I mentioned my seven day live launch, I'm gonna share with you that and more strategies. I'm gonna give you a private invitation to my free training called Hello to High Ticket. Click the link below to get your private invitation to that today.